This is TJ Norris for Enzyme PDX. I'm here at the DeSoto building at the Charles A. Hartman Fine Art Gallery visiting Eva Spears Landscaping. Let's take a look. The idea of layering for a painting like this is devious because there, there isn't a whole lot of technical, like there's no technical handwork for myself and it all happens on its own. Um, so the preparation for a piece like this is kind of lengthy and the action of pouring out this paint with that in mind brought me closer to the idea of a landscape as well as the process of making something. Generally, it, it, it's really a function of just colors that appeal to me and colors that I think will work well together. As I went, I realized that, you know, things like this sort of tonal shifting that's pretty subtle, I had a, a pretty good degree of control over that. To me, it, it was interesting in the sense that they appear to be slower than they are. Like, when I actually look at it, it feels, it feels slow to me just because of all the the layering and the strata and the intricacy of the lines. Um, but the time was a factor. It was interesting how fast they happened and how slow they look. I was thinking um, of my parents' bed sheets. And so I found some that resembled what I, what I remembered the pattern being. And yeah, basically it's the idea that the view, the landscape, exists behind this veil. What you have instead, though, is this surface realm full of this focus and this intensity and this work. And in a way, that's kind of what we deal with in life. We, we, we try to get beyond this veil, but we, we are really dealing with what's on the surface of it a lot of times. The ocean is one of my favorite places. It's one of those places, I think, that has a kind of uh, uh, mythic unboundedness in the way that mountains do, in the way that all landscapes do for me, in, in the way that they make me forget myself. And I think that's one of the reasons why I tend to place myself in an expansive vista-type situation, because I do get to forget a little bit about myself, which is nice. I always strive for a kind of unboundedness or a kind of multiplicity and I'm always thwarted again by the edges of the frame and I, I always wish that I could expand it further and further and further, which you know, at, at a certain point would be ridiculous, but, um, but my experience of it, even within a limited framework, is similar to what I think about when I think of the ocean, so I guess it just um, speaks to that desire to be there. <laughs> 